When I was pregnant, I experienced something called nesting. It's this incredible natural instinct that sets in when you're nearing the end of your pregnancy. Sometimes it can even be a signal that labor is imminent. You get this burst of energy that inspires you to clean and organize all the things. For me, it looked like washing and rewashing baby clothes. I would gather everything my new little bundle would wear, wash, dry, fold, and put everything away, only to be convinced a few days later that it wasn't clean enough and I should probably do it again. Rinse and repeat. Nesting is nature's way of helping you get ready for your baby's arrival. This instinct isn't just limited to people. Nesting behavior can be observed in a variety of animals like birds, fish, squirrels, mice, and pigs. Pregnant animals experience a boost in specific types of hormones that give them the urge to prepare a safe place for their upcoming newborns. This process of nature's preparation for new life is so evident in the Advent season for me. This season is filled with anticipation of family gatherings, church services, gift giving, meals around our tables, vacations, and more. But this time of expectancy of what's to come is so much deeper than what's happening in the busyness of the holidays. The word Advent means coming or arrival. Advent is the church's time of nesting. We spend weeks in this beautiful expectancy and preparation for the celebration of Christ's birth. In our verse today, Malachi is talking about a messenger, an individual who prepares the way for the arrival of the Messiah. One commentary says, The Messiah had been long called he that should come, and now shortly he will come. He is the messenger of the covenant. Those who seek Jesus shall find pleasure in him, often when not looked for. The Lord Jesus prepares the sinner's heart to be his temple by the ministry of his word and the convictions of his spirit, and he enters it as the messenger of peace and consolation. In all of the hustling and bustling that this season holds, in all of our anticipation this Advent, in our seasonal nesting, let's remember that we get to be the messengers who prepare the way. We get to prepare a safe place for those to come.